Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. We got a big day ahead of us, and today's video is sponsored by Moomoo. We're gonna get into that in here in a second, but I want to tell you this: we got some big things happening. Of course, the Fed coming out, and I want you to be prepared. I want to show you in today's video multiple things. One, Michael Burry giving us some real big warnings. I want to talk about that, and of course, you want to see what the big people out there are trading. I got the tool for you. Another one that I see people asking for money for, I'm going to show you how to do this one for free. It's a little bit different. Now, before we get into it, of course, take advantage of the Moomoo Moo link. You're going to see this right here. All you have to do is put $100 in. You'll get five free stocks worth up to $10,000 plus $10 cash. And if you don't even want to put that in, put a buck in. You get $10 cash, 10 times your money, plus a free stock worth up to $2,000. And on top of that, you get the guaranteed stock screener, which everybody has been charging for. But I'm going to show you something else you get today you get the institutional trading tracker you want to know what all the big people are arc warren buffett i'm going to show you this later in the video and i think you're going to like what i got for you uh so take advantage of that of course we'll come back and talk a little bit more but as we start i wanted to show you this for those that have not seen this yet wild stuff michael burry the big short love the movie by the way i would highly recommend watching it he says this could be worse than 2008 What's he talking about? Well, it was this. And as we get out there, you can see today, I wondered aloud if this could be worse than 2008. What interest rates are doing? Exchange uh, rates globally. Central banks seem to be reactionary in a CYA. I'll give you a little uh, calmer there. Cover your butt. All right. One of my analysts said it was spooky that today I wonder that Alpine anniversary. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what. What's this mean? It means they believe things could get ugly. And a lot of this deals with what? It deals with the Fed. The Fed is coming out today and going to change things. Now, there's two sides to this. Is the Fed, is the Fed going to come out and absolutely hammer it 75 basis points to 100 basis points and go ahead and talk extremely hawkish and say they're not changing course. They're going to continue to crush things. They're going to continue with the oversized rate hikes. Or are they finally going to calm down in their discussions and talk and allow the markets to do some things? And some people actually theorize today, 2 o'clock, they announced the rate, 2.30, Uncle Jay Powell comes out and he discusses things. But some people are theorizing that if they come out with a 50 basis point hike, and we've been surprised before, they could do it. But if they did and they calmed down and stated, hey, look, we're okay with a little bit of inflation. We know it's going to take a little longer, but we can start slowing it down. Some people think that we could see a 10% pop. Now, the odds, and that's just for today. The odds of that, though, extremely small. No one expects it, but you never know in the markets. That's the thing. And so what am I talking about right here? It's JP Morgan. You thought it was just somebody out there, a nobody. No, it was JP Morgan talking this. S&P 500 could surge 10% in one day if the Fed does these two things, which I just talked about, 50 basis point hike, and tell us that they're okay with inflation uh, taking a little longer, you know, easing off the throttle, if you will. So I'm not betting on it at all. I am expecting fully that we are going to go ahead and get that 75 basis point hike. It's going to be ugly out there. And But I already said this. We're over at the Patreon. If you haven't joined me over there, please do. I got that link down below. I just started my recession 2023 portfolio yesterday. I'm going to be buying stocks for the next few weeks and selling out of the old portfolios. It's going to be the wild, wild west. But I hope to be prepared for the next recession coming, which I think happens in 2023. And there's a lot of things happening. But here's the news. You see it everywhere. The Fed makes its decision Wednesday. Expect a big move in stocks. I'll be the first one to say this. What I am expecting is a move in the market, no matter what he says. It's going to be up or down, probably both. And what I have found is this. See if it happens again. It's happened, I think, the last three meetings. Two o'clock, they come out with the rate hike. The market drops down. 2.30, 2.35, market takes off, goes way up into the green. Why? Because Powell comes out and calms everybody down. Now, it rises up big time over the next few days. We might have one more green day. We might not, but then it always came back down. And so that's what I'm afraid of again. But I'm looking for them to, to possibly be a little bit easier than lately because they've been really hawkish. They come out, 75 basis point hike, but they come out and say, look, we're looking at finally slowing down to 50 basis point or even lower next meeting. 
then I think the market actually reacts very positively. And we know they're still attacking inflation. And I think that could be a healthy mix between them. Right now, what do we got priced in there? I'll take this out. What do we got priced in for the meeting tomorrow or uh, for today, I should say, is uh, right here in November. Yep, 86.5% chance of a 75 basis point hike and a 13.5% of a 50 basis point. So it's not like it's out of the realm of possibilities, one out of eight, and uh, we'll see. But then, of course, in December, they have it at basically 50-50. So if they do it, they do the 75, it would be at 375 to 400. They're saying uh, to get another 75 points back to back, you have a 48% chance of that happening. 48% chance of having 75 basis points today and 75 uh, basis points in December. There's more of a 45% chance here that we'll get 75 and 50 somewhere in there. And then there's a 70% a 7 chance that we'll get either 50, 50, 75, 25, but it'll add up to 100 basis points. That's here. I would like to see that because that would mean a massive rally in stocks through the rest of this year. But we just don't know how it's going to go. So that is one of the things I wanted to share with you. Now, the other big thing I wanted to talk about is this. Now, as you can see here, and I'll pull this up. You got the app down here. Uh, folks, th if you haven't done this, please take advantage of it. I talked a little bit about this before, but see this? Go down here after you download. Use my link in the description. I'm going to show you how to see what the biggest investors are doing. Some people make you pay for this. You're going to get it for free for using my link, and you're going to get free stocks. Like I said, put a buck in, you get 10 bucks for free, plus a free stock up to two grand. Put 100 bucks in, you get five free stocks worth up to 10 grand. And two grand, if you put two grand in, you'll get 15 free stocks plus the $10 cash. So once you get in there, you click this markets down here. There's all kinds of things up here. You got the industrial chain, heat maps, stock screeners, all of them. You can see all these things, right? So I just wanted to show you some of this. But the big thing I wanted to talk about today, look at this. They added this, institutional tracking. So you come into institutional tracking. Say you wanted to see what Warren Buffett was doing. You click on Warren Buffett here, and you got the Berkshire Hathaway. You can come down, see exactly the current hold, uh, their current holdings, prior, all this stuff. You can see what they're doing, what their percentage is, and where they're at. And then as you come down, you can see their holdings, okay? And you got them all right here. You can see what percentage they have, 39% of their portfolio, nine, about 39, 10, and eight, and seven. So they got 39%. If you scroll it over, you can see how much they bought and what they have. But look, Apple, 39%. Bank of America, 10. Coca-Cola, 8. 7% Chevron. You got uh, American Express right there as well at six. And so you can see between two stocks, they got almost 50% of their money. They basically own Apple and Bank of America as their portfolio because it's almost 50%. Throw in some Coke and Chevron, you got a well-diversified portfolio with those four. You got Apple, which is the tech. You got the Bank of America financial, Coke, we know food and beverages, and you got Chevron for the energy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. And they do add some Oxy on there, Oxy, uh, Occidental Petroleum. You can see everything they own and everything else. And you can do this for a lot. You can go in there and search a ton. You can search them all right here. All right. And if you wanted to go in and see, say, ARC, and you want to see everything they got right here, you can say, okay, what about ARC K? And then you can come in here and see what they have and do the same exact thing. Slide it over, see the percentage right here, and you got it. So this is one of the things I definitely wanted to share with everyone because you're missing out. You don't have to pay for this stuff. I'm tired of seeing people get ripped off. You get it for free. All you got to do is go ahead, click the link in the description, put a dollar in or a hundred. I'd put a hundred in, get that uh, five free stocks worth up to 10 grand, get the $10 free cash, take advantage of all these different features and join me over there. When you're in there, look up stock mo. I have a community over 5,000. You can join me. I'm putting some content in there as well. So this was just a quick update today. I feel like we're going to see some good things. Take advantage of the link. Come on over and join me at the Patreon as well. I got that new portfolio. And of course, we're going to have a wild ride. I'll be back later on today after the Fed meets. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.